BQA uh, starts out with every employee and we train every employee uh, to have that basic background of, of what those uh, standards and what that ask is uh, from DAR feedlot. We manage everything really tight. Uh, we're out here next to the feed mill and trucks keep coming and going, but uh, we track every ingredient that goes to every pen on a daily basis. No matter if it's raised in Florida with 25 to 50 feet of elevation or, or Utah where I was on a ranch where it was at 14,500 feet, it has to end up and on somebody's plate and be a high quality piece of beef. And uh, that's kind of where we fit in, is we're that final destination to make everything work together and become the product that we're all so proud of. This feed yard started as a feed yard for cattlemen, and it's always been that way. We've grown this thing from 1,500 to where we keep at this facility about 45,000. We do a lot of retained ownership. The one thing in the cattle industry is change is constant. We like to take challenges and make them opportunities. In 1987, I got involved in the BQA committee. Uh, there was like 12, 13 bullet points. I brought that piece of paper home and we, we stuck it in every location where our cattle people were. We went through trainings with our employees. Some of the employees are still with us today, I might add. And we talked about what we need to hold up on our end of the bargain is we need to make sure that we have all these things in place for our operation. And it was my job to go back and pass it back to the rancher and say, these are a list of things that I need you to do to make your operation more successful at your location and for me to not have so many issues with your cattle when they come in. It's fun to be able to see that work that Craig and myself and others here at the yard have done of reaching out and spending time uh, on ranches, listening, and uh, continue to work hard to add more value for those individual ranches, especially for ranchers that are looking to retain ownership in their cattle and work it all the way to the end of the food chain. And that's why it's so important for us that we see cow-calf producers that are set up with a BQA standard. We put uh, an EID tag in every animal so that every animal that leaves our facility has had an electronic day. We know what the origin is coming in. We know everything that uh, we've done with that animal since they've been on our premises. And the next part is getting information from our cow-calf partners, what uh, information's important to them from the ranch side. The last part has been having a relationship with packing plants and insisting that we get carcass data back on every individual animal. And the key part will be, how do we communicate that? So we can take that data, pull it in, but we still gotta put it into actionable results so that we can put it back in a format that says, let's make these changes and we can get these results. Today, we don't really sell to the packing industry, we're selling directly more to the consumer because the consumer has a bigger say in how they're gonna spend their dollar. We look at a very growing hungry world. We went on taste, we went on protein, we went on satisfaction against the other proteins. And we've got a growing economy, both domestically and worldwide, that's gonna to continue to keep searching out that product. And we're gonna be on the forefront of uh, delivering for those needs.